Well, hello everyone, it's Carrie, and today I'm excited to share with you this new stamp set from Missing Stamps called Bunny and Bear My World. And I'm going to use this today with some watercolor techniques using distress watercolor pencils. Now, this set and all the Bunny and Bear sets are really great for watercoloring. I think they have that look to them. So I'm going to start out by just laying out my idea for the card. I've already cut this panel down to a mini slimline size. So it's three inches by about five inches. And the end result card will be a little bit larger because I am gonna put a mat around the entire thing. So here's the layout that I like. I'm using quite a few of the stamps from the set. I think I actually used most of them, or if not all of them. It has a couple of leaves in it, branches, the bunny and bear on the world, and the sentiment says, you mean the world to me. And I'm going to stamp this out with VersaFine Onyx Black ink because that is a watercolor friendly ink. And when it dries, it will not be affected by the watercolors. So here's the Distress watercolor pencil set I have. I only have one set. It's set one. So it comes with a good variety of colors. And these are the ones I'm going to use for watercoloring today. One nice thing about not having a lot of choices is that you only can use what you got. So I'm going to use the blue that's in the set to start coloring up the world. This is Salty Ocean, which I thought was pretty appropriate. <laughs> and I'm just going to start by laying down a small amount of that color. I'm not pressing hard at all. And I am using a watercolor paper for this because I knew I wanted to do some watercoloring. So you can see when you use a little bit of water with the watercolor pencils, they really do spread very nicely. Now, I just want to make mention that I didn't press very hard. That is important because I don't want any of those pencil lines in my watercolor. And then I can take my water brush and directly pick it up from the pencil itself to make some darker areas. And this seems to be my technique of choice for today that I really liked using. So I'm gonna use the same technique throughout the video. And next I'll go to the green in the kit. It's peeled paint. And again, I'm putting a very small amount, not pressing hard at all. And that's gonna create our base layer of the watercolor. So I'll take my water brush and just spread that out. And you'll see that I am gonna go in and darken up some areas of the land masses as well. So this is simple watercoloring today. And sometimes I do like to take my water brush and start it on my hand to make sure that water is flowing. Now I'll take the picked raspberry color that's in the set and add a little to the ears of the bunny and the bear. And they are small areas, so in the video you can't see this really well, but in real life you can see the little bit of pink on the bunny and the bear. Now the brown color in the kit is rusty hinge so i decided to use that for the bear itself and you'll see that i put a little darker color around the lower edge and also right by where the world is now this card is perfect for making right about now because earth day is coming up real soon at the end of april I think it's April 22nd if I'm remembering correctly and I think this is the perfect little card <laughs> for Earth Day. So there we go adding a little extra color again of that rusty hinge to this very cute bear. Now if you've been collecting these stamps from Missing Stamps there are quite a few of the Bunny and Bear stamp sets available now. I have been collecting them all because if you've been watching my channel, you know that I love my bears. And so this has always been a favorite collection of mine. For the bunny, I am going to use the darker brown, which is the walnut stain. And it's kind of like a gray brown. And so that bunny is going to be a little different looking than the bear. And then for the branches and leaves, I'll use the salvaged patina pencil that's in the set 
and using the same exact method, coloring it on first and then adding a little more with the water brush itself. Now this has dried and one of the nice things about these Distress watercolor pencils is that you can add more color once it's dried straight to the panel. And so I went ahead and did that for the land masses. I'll do that for the water as well. And for both of the bunny and bear images. So you'll see that at the end. Now I'm taking a little shortcut here and I'm using some watercolor pattern paper that I have. And I'm going to cut this down to the slimline size to make it nice, a nice mat around what I have already. So this is going to measure three and a half inches by five and three quarters inches. And that'll create a nice layer all the way around. And I'll take some foam tape and pop up that panel with the images on it. So I put foam tape all around the back. This is going to be nice and stable because I added quite enough here so that we're not going to get any parts that that fall in. So four pieces of foam tape should do it. And I'll finish it off with some gems that I have in my stash that just so happen to match that watercolor background. So they're kind of an ocean blue color and I'll add about five of them to the panel. I find that an odd number of gems is very pleasing to the eye. And so there you go. That's what I'm going to do for today. And I'm going to hold this up so you can see it a little closer. These Distress watercolor pencils are really fun to play with. They were a lot heavier and more substantial than I expected. Way more so than, for example, a colored pencil or any other watercolor pencils I have. So I really liked it for that. Nice and substantial. And now I'll go ahead and add that to the card base here. I cut a card base that'll fit perfectly this mini slimline card. And that's going to be our card for today. Look how cute these little images are all watercolored up. So easy and simple to do with just this simple, easy watercolor pencil technique today. I hope you did enjoy this video and I hope you do enjoy the new Bunny and Bear My World stamp set. I've listed and linked the products below so you can go take a look if you're interested. And thank you so much for stopping by today. I'll be back real soon with more cards to share. Until then, happy crafting. Bye-bye.